Let's work on adding data to plots. To begin with, I'm going to simulate a bit of data. My x values are just going to be a sequence from 0 to 10 incremented by 0.1. My y values are going to be a function of those x values. Maybe something like x squared times cosine x. If I plot x against y, r is going to draw a dot wherever I have data. But maybe I want a line drawn through all of these points or lines connecting adjacent points. I can use the lines function to do that. Now I've got lines between all these points. We can also start in the opposite direction. So maybe I begin with a line plot and I specify that my type is equal to L. That'll just give me a line drawn between all these points and I want to add points and I can do that with the points function. One useful thing is adding line segments, especially for error bars. Suppose we've got some error in the y direction. These are our observed values, but we might have had values plus or minus 5 from where we observed. We can simulate that. So let's say that our error is 5, and our y minimum is just going to be y minus the error. And our y max is going to be y plus the error. We can draw line segments to indicate this at every point. And the function to do that with is called segments. Let's take a look at the syntax real quick. x0 and y0 are the first arguments, and those are giving coordinates of points from which to draw. So every segment begins at one point, and it ends at x1, y1. So let's use that segments function. In the x direction, I want to start and stop in the same place. I want these just to be vertical lines. So x0 is going to equal x, and x1 is going to equal x. I'm going to begin drawing my y line at y minimum, and I'm going to finish drawing at y max. OK. So there are our line segments, and notice we're approaching the edge of the graph, here and here. We can fix that with an argument to our plot function, and that argument is y lim. This takes two numbers, a minimum and a maximum. Let's make our minimum negative 100, and our maximum can be 45. There we go, we've moved these segments a bit away from the edge of the graph. One last thing is to add a horizontal line at zero. Maybe zero is an important value. We can do that with the AB line function. AB line is used to draw horizontal or vertical lines. So we want it at zero. I can specify H equals zero to get that horizontal line. And I also want this line to be dashed. To do that, I'll specify a line type, which is the LTY argument. And if I say LTY equals 2, that'll give me a dashed line. 